Hi, I'm Drew, and that's Bethany. The 1920s, a time known in U.S. history as the Roaring Twenties, with its iconic flappers, the Charleston, and of course, Prohibition. Now, the ban on alcohol did cut down on consumption during the day, but at night, underground speakeasies and crime ran rampant. The 20s are long gone, and alcohol has since been freed of its restrictions, but a part of that history is still alive and well under the streets of Los Angeles. Come with us as we take a look inside a couple of the old Prohibition tunnels. downtown looking for some tunnels. Mm -hmm. A wild goose chase to me because I have no idea what they look like. And oh, there's one though. Yeah, they look kind of like that. That's not the one we're here to see though. Oh. So if these aren't the tunnels, which ones are we supposed to see? Well, a friend of a friend of mine knows a guy whose friends scribbled this for me on a bar napkin the other day. Alright, so we're going based off a bar napkin. That's how real information is communicated these days. But anyway, we're going to start looking near the Hall of Records building, which is on the corner of Temple and Hill Street. Now on to parking. Oh, that may take a while. Are there any instructions on the bar napkin for that? Nope. So it has been speculated that there are 11 miles of tunnels underneath Los Angeles. Around here, there's supposed to be an elevator that takes you down to a few of them. Ah, oh, word of caution, they're officially closed to the public. According to this, it says, behind the Hall of Records building, you'll find an old elevator set off by itself. Take it down to the second floor. Then look for a hidden escalator and ride that up one level. Tunnels are directly ahead. So there's this, but I think that's like the metro elevator. Is that over there? Oh, that little building? Yeah, that might be it. Let's go see. Is that it there? I think so. Okay, so we were just in a very nice part of downtown LA, and now we just stepped into this creepy, broken down elevator. <laughs> are you sure this is the right place? Yeah, let's do that. Where are we going? Where is this taking us? I'm scared, we're gonna die here. No, we're not gonna die. <laughs> it's very slow though. I know, it's not moving. Are we moving? We'll see where he's leading us. Maybe the door's a little open. Oh, okay. All right, well, it looks like two choices, left and right. Hmm. I'm going left. What if I just leave him here? She's just gonna leave me. You're really gonna leave me here? Fine, I'll follow you. Not a soul in sight. Someone sitting there? Oh. What's in there? Looks like newspaper clippings and records. Probably all of our personal information. Maybe this way? Possibly. I want to see over here a little bit. Real quick. Oh, look. Look what we found. <laughs> Escalators. That means I think we're on the right track. Well, shall we? Yeah, after you. And while we ride up this seeming and slow escalator, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the history of the Hall of Records. From 1920 to 1933, a movement known as the Dry Crusade to help stop family violence, political corruption, and alcoholism led to the passing of the 18th Amendment. Alcohol was prohibited, which of course led to bootlegging and speakeasy clubs. The tunnels beneath the city were a way for alcohol to be passed around and enjoyed with a devious excitement added to the mix. Straight ahead. to be down here. Here they oh are. Gosh. So cool. There's that famous down horn signs y'all we see online. Well it sounds like this place is gonna fall down around us. Yeah. Maybe. Kind of vent. Should we try to go up there? 
You're thinner. Yeah, thanks, but uh, you're not wearing a skirt. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, my goodness. Not gonna do it. No, not nope. gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna happen? You can't, into, you can't even get up there. I could probably get up there. There's nothing to hold on to, it's just slick. <laughs> it's gonna have to remain a mystery where this leads. We don't have our climbing gear. Let's see what else we can find, though. So I heard in the 1960s that these tunnels were used to move like over a billion dollars worth of tax revenue. Mm. And there were like machine gun guards and stuff. Well, I heard they used to also transport high profile criminals like Mickey Cohen. Crazy. Mobster guy. Is it locked? Yeah. the door to an old speakeasy, you know, because you can't have alcohol above. You bring it all down here and everybody will just have a good time. There is another door on the inside. Does it open? Oh, that's like a new freaking Push door. the exit. <laughs> <laughs> These old tunnels are now used for Hall of Records and Hall of Administration employees to walk through, as well as storage. But there's still a sense of debauchery in the air about what used to take place here. As Mark Twain said, nothing so needs reforming as other people's habits. Fanatics will never learn that though it be written in letters of gold across the sky, it is prohibition that makes anything precious. Well, pretty neat. Hey, you want to go grab a beer? Yes. I know a place actually, not too far from here. Great, because it's hotter than hell. I need a beer. I took Drew down to the corner of 5th and Los Angeles Street, where there's a bar called the King Eddie that has its own special tie to the Prohibition era. Alright, so we're here to check out the King Eddie Saloon, established in 1933, and I hear that there's a speakeasy in the basement. Could be a rumor, we don't know. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Chris, the owner, and see what he can tell us about it. Today we are here with Chris Caston, owner of the one and only King Eddie Saloon. And how long have you been the owner of this bar? We took over in September of last year, 2016. Okay. So pretty recent. And they have a full bar and they also have live music. That's right. I heard. So yep. stop by if you can on Friday and Saturday. Here are your best nights. And there's also something downstairs that not a lot of people get to see. Right. And what is that that we're going to see? So uh, this bar is one of the oldest bars in Los Angeles. They've had a liquor license since 1933, I believe. Okay. But before that, they had a speakeasy in the basement. Mm. So originally, where we are now was a piano shop, and they had a speakeasy down there that is rumored to have had tunnel access to under City Hall, and all the big wigs and cops could go straight from City Hall to their King Eddie speakeasy. And so we're standing on a piece of history right now. Yeah. <laughs> so can we go check it out? Let's go. Oh. All right. So watch your step. All right. Oh. Creepy old stairs. Wow. And all of this is in its original form? Yeah, I mean. It's probably been painted, but uh, yeah, it's... Oh, do you need a secret knock to get in there? There it is. Hopefully no one's home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are these paintings over here? So these are all the original murals um, from the speakeasy. This middle area was where they serviced all the customers and everything. So you can see also yeah. some of these sort of crazy fantasy paintings they had. So you own essentially a little museum. Yeah. From the 1920s. Uh, and there's, yeah, we get a lot of interest from mural enthusiasts at least once a day, usually more than once a day, whether they are curious about the speakeasy or more often it's the tunnels because right. uh, everyone wants to explore the tunnels. So, but this is all oh, this original. Is, okay. Yeah. Now I see more of what it's like over there. It's a little bit faded, but here I can see. Yeah, we got a keg with yeah. a draft beer being poured. It's all a little bit cartoony, but kind of cool and Perfect. retro. And now you got your light, so let's go back Ooh. to this creepy. Well, there is something behind I'll here. I'll follow you in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On this side, we have some more of the old funky murals. Okay. And now we're underneath the sidewalk. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're right here off of Fifth. This is Fifth Street here. 
and Los Angeles is behind us. So the building really ends right here at the doorway. Right. And this is under yeah, the street. Yeah, this is the main load-bearing wall here. Okay. You can see there's been a lot of tarring to prevent leaks. Yeah. So more murals as we go around. Mm -hmm. And always clues you in that we're still in speakeasy zone. Uh-huh. So is this under... So this is Los, Los Angeles, Angeles Street. Street. Okay. Right. So this is uh, what was the old ice chest uh, for keeping all the beer cold. Okay. And obviously it's pretty big, so you figure they did a lot of business down here if you had an ice wow. chest this big. Um, and then a window for uh, I think uh, this serving. Helps serving, yeah, or maybe even just reaching in. I don't really know. Easy access. Yeah. Um, but if you want to peek in there, it's definitely creepy. Yeah. Can you give me a beer, please? Just yeah, let me get, like, unpack get, one. Let me get that for you. Kind of thirsty. This is so cool. <laughs> so if they ever have another prohibition, we know where to come. <laughs> You're right. gonna be ready for it. So tell me, what was this area used for? So this was uh, a lift that would go up through the sidewalk. You've seen those metal, you know, doors on sidewalks yeah. that in the old days used to open up and you'd freight whatever you had to freight down to the basement. Um, oh yeah, there's some old so there's like lots gears. Of gears and pulley wheels. That's so cool. Virtually untouched since the 20s era. Yeah. In case we need to rebuild it. Yeah. All the materials are there. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much for the tour. My pleasure. It's been very interesting. Yeah, good to have you guys. I appreciate it. One of the unique things about downtown LA is there's history all around you, even right beneath your feet. The 1920s left us these tunnels, history to reflect, and a chance to explore. As F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote, so we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Unfortunately, we can't encourage you to come see these tunnels for yourself since they are officially closed to the public. But we do hope you'll make it by the King Eddie for a beer sometime. And we'll see you next time on Out of Teatises. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, action. This is where the rats come out. Oh, great. My god. <laughs> Here we are.